big old humps and dents. Ooh, that's manufactured that way, dude, because that's just going to be a whole nother pitch, and it's right at the tuning point. My name is Jeff Kirsch, custom drum builder out of Portland, Oregon. Been building since around 98, 99. Today we're gonna to talk about bearing edges, which is my favorite subject. It's really the most important part of how a drum works. It's everything that matters in drums. The main benefit to having edges redone is being able to tune and stay in tune. Cause that's pretty much like every drummer's biggest challenge or complaint sure. is tuning. And most people don't know that the majority of drums are produced in a way that benefits manufacturing. When drums were first being built, they were being built for calfskin heads. And calfskin adapts to just about anything. You can take a log and a hatchet, make a drum, stretch a skin over it, and it'll tune. What happened is in 57, the plastic head was invented and that's molded plastic under heat and pressure. So the reason that bearing edges are so important is because drum companies mold their heads at a very specific diameter, and molded plastic is never gonna take another shape. Once you've compressed that shape in there with heat and pressure, that's where that head is going to live forever. And what happens with most manufacturers is that they do a single cut that saves a lot of time saves a lot of money and what happens is is that creates too large of an outside diameter for where the drum head peak sits so even when a company says our bearing edges are perfectly level they're still too large of an outside diameter even if they're flawlessly manufactured all the drum head knows is that this drum is too big so what happens is is when you put this under tension especially lower tension like toms and stuff, is that this molded area sits in the surface that you're playing on like a rubber surround on a speaker cone. And so the part that you're playing on and striking isn't actually attached to anything. And what happens is, is that's when your heads are pitting, it's when the stick rebound feels awkward, hurts your hands even, and the heads just wear out. And because this shape is constantly trying to get here, the head will roll around. You'll tune it in one spot, play it for a minute, and it'll roll around to the next spot. And it's because it's always just trying to sit flat on the molded surface. So when you round over the bearing edge, now all of that is supported. And the important part about it being called a bearing edge is that it, the head rolls across the edge like a wheel bearing. And that allows you to maintain a constant supported contact at any note. And so what happens is, is with the single cut, you also get this part of the drum head is like strings on a guitar past the nut. When you strike the head, these overtones go past the drum shell and out through this really high pitched area and into the metal hoop. When the head is sitting on the edge, the drum head transfers energy into the shell. And so now you're getting the shell tone that you paid money for when you bought yourself a really nice drum set because you have to interact with it for it to do what it does and to make it the brand that you like and the sound that you like. By supporting this surface, you end up being able to tune the drum with a vastly larger range. You can get a much, especially in the lower end, because you're not using tuning energy to reshape something that does not want to be reshaped. And so you can go directly from your first finger tension and having a clear note. So it vastly increases the tuning range, adds more wood tone, balances out these noisy overtones, the heads last longer, the stick rebound feels good to play. This process is very much like what happens with frets on a guitar. We're getting a nut adjustment or bridge adjustment and neck adjustment. It doesn't really change the sound of your favorite brand into something else. Your Ludwigs will still be Ludwigs and Tama will still be Tama. 
what it does is it gives you a larger tuning range, more interaction with what makes your brand special. It's not really about changing sound, it's about making the drum tune well and respond well. So I don't really offer multiple bearing edges. There's only one edge that works. Just like frets on the neck of a guitar, they go where they go, and you can't really just decide anything different. <laughs>